Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and I wanted to do a special video for today for Thanksgiving. And a lot of people um, do that, it, you know, TV shows and stuff. It's like it's the Thanksgiving episode of Mighty Machines or whatever. My boy likes watching Mighty Machines, so it's the tip of my tongue. Um, but I think for preppers, the idea of Thanksgiving is really central to everything that we're doing. Uh, while the rest of the world's you know, fixated on, you know, the newest iPhone that's coming out or what's new on television or whatever. For preppers, we're really focused on, you know, the basic essential things and being thankful for all those things that we have, you know, appreciating them, knowing how tenuous a lot of this stuff is. And, uh, and that appreciation for that, I think, uh, you know, has led us to try to make ourselves more prepared because we appreciate the fragility of all of this and we're thankful for all the, the simple things that we have, whether it's just water to drink or food to eat um, or safety. Uh, you know, so much of this country you can just walk around, I'm in the United States, um, you can just walk around and you don't really have to worry about much. I mean, people talk about like, oh, you know, you should be concealed carrying all the time because, you know, there's this and there's that and there's all this. But, you know, honestly, this is a exceptionally safe place to be. Um, I mean, there are certain areas that, that don't fall into that category. Um, but by and large, you don't have to carry a weapon to feel safe in most of this country. And I'm thankful for that. I, I, I like the fact that I can leave the house without being armed and I don't have to worry um, that, you know, something horrible is going to happen to me. Um, I think there are people out there, some of them call themselves preppers, or at least kind of talk in those terms that they talk about how uh, they don't appreciate all that we have uh, in our, our current uh, civilization uh, you know some of them you know talk about like oh you know I can't wait like to free the beast within me because I'm, I'm gonna be a, a lord amongst men and I, I've had a, you know a few little things and comments with people like that and you know I think most of that's pretty hollow um, it's a really comfortable civilization that we're currently in uh, at the moment, you know, and if people really didn't appreciate it that and really wanted to go other places, then there are places that they could be going right now. I'm going to read a list right now. You could go to Aleppo in Syria and you could be a warlord, you know, next week if you wanted to, if you really have all that confidence that you're a super predator. You could go to Kandahar in Afghanistan, you know, just get right to work, you know, taking shit over. If you don't like laws and you want lawlessness, there's plenty of that out there. You go to Waziristan in Pakistan. There you go. Here's two more. If you don't like going to the east, you know, because I know, you know, plane tickets and shit and all that. If you want to stay Western Hemisphere, you go to Juarez City in Mexico. It's like a war zone there. Or if you want to just get completely out of the, uh, the Northern Hemisphere. I don't know. Is it out of the Northern Hemisphere? Somalia. You can go to Mogadishu. I think that's, that's slightly above the equator, or is it? I don't know. It doesn't matter. The point is, there are plenty of places that people who talk their mouth off about, you know, not appreciating everything that we have here, and, you know, they're waiting for the shit to hit the fan, to be freed, and all that. There's plenty of places that they could go right now if they really wished for that. Um, yeah, you know, maybe they, they want it, you know, here because they're just comfortable wherever they happen to live and they don't want to move. I guess that's an argument one could make. <laughs> It's also an argument one could choose not to, you know, put too much credence in. But we have so much uh, in, in the first world. And, you know, I know there's lame-ass laws you got to follow. And there's this and there's that. But there's a lot to be thankful for. Even in our messed up culture and everything like that. And all the stuff that's going wrong. We have an awful lot to be thankful for. And I think as preppers, we, uh, we appreciate it maybe more than most. Like I said, when other people are worried about... The minutia and the fluff, you know, we're we're appreciative of the the simple things that uh, that, you know, make our lives worth living: family, water, food to eat, safety, that type of stuff, that type of stuff. So that's it. So I, I hope you have a nice Thanksgiving and think about some of the things that you have that we wouldn't have if the shit really hit the fan. If there was a total collapse, the space program, I kind of miss that. It's interesting getting pictures from outer space from far away. That would all be gone. There's lots of things that if the ship were to hit the fan, if there was a collapse, that we would totally lose. And, um, yeah, 
this is the day that we're thankful for that type of stuff. And then we go back to worrying about iPhones tomorrow <laughs> if you're so uh, disposed, which I am not. Thanks for watching.